What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Asas Pizza Studio, it's another retouching tutorial, so we'll be retouching these, so just follow up with the step by step process I'll be following, so let's get started, if you're new to the channel, kindly of subscribe, and let, like, share, if you know the content are helpful to you, so let's get started, well, I would like to first of all fix the color variation, and that's the thing I like doing, but before that, let's use the sort of color to get the correct white balance. And I'm just gonna click on the eyes which is supposed to be white and take this up and it's okay and change the blend mode to divide and this should give me something brighter so um, I'm just gonna go ahead again and take it all the way up so we have something like this so we have before and then after so that's too bright but I'm gonna grab the UN saturation clip it and then mess around with the uh, color so taking it out, we're going to lose color. Taking it back, it's going to bring back the color. So I want the color back and I want a little bit of the light. So let's see. I'm going to grab the two together. And then we have before. And just, just a little bit brighten up. You can see before and after. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the hue and saturation adjustment. And then pick this end too. And let's see if the color variation. I'm going to click on this side, increase and the iron no color variation so everything is just blue and we are good to go okay so i'm gonna delete that so this is the first time not doing that okay so after that uh let's work on the exposure so i'm gonna create a time visible layer go to shift and eat create time visible layer go to filter go to uh camera raw filter so now the camera raw filter i'm gonna use Let's try and use the white balance again and see the result it gives. So that's too bright. Control Z. And you can just, you know, do it manually. I'm going to do it manually. Increase this. Not too much. So somewhere like 10 should be fine. And, and then I'm going to go ahead with the exposure. So instead of using the exposure, I'm going to use the, let's use either one of the highlight or the white. So I'm going to use the white instead. So bring down the white till you have more information. So something like this and let's bring down the highlight a bit and so we have this okay so i'm gonna hit okay and then we have um this on our image okay so now the next thing is to do some frequency separation so for that control j twice and you know how to do frequency separation i'm going to come back after i'm done so color it enter all right, so I'm done with the frequency separation, and then we have these two. This so something I like to correct is, you know, this side. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the UN saturation adjustment, and I'm going to focus more on that side by selecting it and taking it all the way up. And now I'm going to increase the slider till you know I get somewhere like that. And if I can't get that, which of which I couldn't get, I'm just going to reset the mask. And then go to filter sorry select color range click on let's cancel and click on the, the image and go to select color range and i'm going to select that side hold on shift and select more in this area turn up this one do more selection okay so i guess that place are uh, the brightest side and increase the fuzziness a bit and it's okay and go to the UN saturation and hold on shift F5 and fill it with let's fill it with white, sorry, black. Yeah, it's black and it's okay. Control D to deselect, control I to impact so it's only visible to that side. And now, what we need to do is whether we change the U or we change the let me select this or we change the lightness so which. Ever. I'm going to change the hue because here is yellow and this place look reddish so I'm going to take it backwards and you can see just a little bit change and it's going to be looking the same so let's see before and after so some of that thing is to decrease so I guess we need to decrease the saturation oh I just resected that oh come on okay Let's decrease, increase the saturation. Take this backwards, not too much. Minus two. And let's see. OK, 
okay so that should be okay by me so before and then after so we just fix it a little a little all right so now uh let's create a stand visible layer come to shift and e and now go to camera roll to finish up what we started all right so now there we go with let's start with the highlight bring it down and bring up the black white and let's leave it like that give it some texture close that go to the curve increase the highlight take down the blacks it's gonna give you some dimension and i'm gonna close that go to the color mixer and let's start with the red so go to the u make it the reddish go to the saturation increase the red do something like this and i also have some blues and and aqua so i'm going to increase them increase this one increase this one and increase this one okay so the u let's make the u orange something like this and also take this backward and increase the saturation and there we go i'm gonna it's okay for that and it's gonna adjust image to the latest edit let's wait okay so yeah we have it all right so now that we have this we can now start doing some you know color grading by like taking the exposure and taking it all the way up a bit and that's cool except for some places that are brighter of which uh it came from the image all right so now create the same layer and then i'm going to turn it off turn the rest of the image off and then we have before and then after let me zoom in and then we have before and then after before after all right guys so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video